So at this point, you've isolated the adjacent teeth with Teflon tape and really we're ready for the injection molding process. But before you take it to the mouth, I want you to verify a couple things. First, I want you to ensure that you can take your flowable tip and you can easily visualize where your channels are, both on the incisal edge as well as mid-facial. Make sure that you have easy access and this isn't going to become a problem once you take it to the mouth. As long as that is clean and clear, we are then going to preload the corners and the incisal edges of our matrix. So using this tip can really save you a lot of trouble later on in air bubbles that tend to occur right at the corners of the incisal edges. So what I will typically do is just preload those corners and, and sometimes I'll just load the entire incisal edge to ensure that we have really nice adaptation. And one more tip to help you avoid air bubbles is to pre-wet the tooth structure. So I normally take just a little bit of our flowable composite, place it onto the tooth structure, and then we are going to take a brush, just ensure that we've wet the surface with the composite. This is going to decrease a lot of our surface tension and again, help us avoid little voids. It also ensures that we have really nice intimate contact and bond from the flowable to the tooth structure. An important point is make sure that you do not cure this. We want to leave it wet and we are going to cure everything together. So at this point, we want to fully seat our matrix. Now, one of the benefits of having our Teflon tape on either side, how bright white it is, as well as the advantage of having the clarity of the GC Exaclear, is that we can easily then visualize that our matrix is fully seated. If for any reason you have voids or gaps at the incisal edge, there's something off, so don't move forward. We want to make sure everything is fully seated and very well adapted, just like you see there on the incisal edge of tooth number nine. So it's important that we are applying pressure on the distal, we're applying pressure on the mesial, and then when we cure, we're also going to be applying pressure buccolingually to make sure that it's as well adapted as the matrix can possibly be. So now we're ready for the injection process. So we're going to take our injectable composite, we're going to take our tip, and we want to insert it all the way down to the cervical. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to extrude our flowable composite. And as we're doing so, we're going to slowly back our tip out. And it's important that we're injecting the entire time. This is really important, very critical to help avoid air bubbles. And we really want to continue to inject until we start to see the composite coming out of that facial port, just like we do here now. Looks like we don't have any voids, no air bubbles. So I'm going to apply pressure on the buccal and lingual, again, to make sure it's well adapted. And now we're going to have your assistant cure. So we're gonna cure this for a full 20 seconds from the facial, and then we're going to cure it for a full 20 seconds from the incisal and the lingual. So at this point, you should have preloaded your matrix, you should have pre-wetted your tooth structure, and now I want you to go ahead and complete the injection molding. Do not remove your matrix until you come back and we're gonna do that together.